So it's snowing again. Let's dig through another pallet. This still hasn't been picked up and it's kind of in the way. This thing's so wobbly. All right, we're going through this one next. This one is not gonna be much. So this is very straightforward. We've got two, five, looks like six lawnmowers here. Remember this came off the other pallet. We've got a plastic box here, foot locker. Oh, it's locking too. Hopefully the key's in there uh, with a hole in it. Uh, we've got air compressor here. This looks like a pretty good one. 10 gallon air compressor, uh, original price. Seriously? This thing's only 150 bucks originally? It's a heck of a deal. I got mine, I think it was like a five gallon from Home Depot, a Husky for about that. Anyways, uh, should do pretty well. The tag says won't work, so we're gonna plug it in and see if we can figure out what the issue is. This looks like a string trimmer. It's got string on there, black and decker. And then around this side, we've got another air compressor. Or no, this is just an air tank, nonetheless. Decent money. So let's get this taken apart. I want to test this because I'm very curious. And I want to get a closer look at that. So here we go. Looks like first off, we've got some hiding in here. This is missing things, apparently. Here's the thing. Definitely customer theft or the customer lost them. There's no way this is going to ship to the store missing pieces. But uh, let's pop this open, see what it's missing. It feels pretty heavy. Interesting, it looks like it's got the uh, the original buyer's name on it. Uh, this is one of those latches. I have to have the tape cut on both the top and the bottom. Because once you pull it up, okay, maybe not. What's the problem here? All right, this is annoying me. So here's what confused me, it said lift. I thought you lift the latch. No, it just barely pops out, you lift the whole thing up. All right, what's it missing? Is the, oh, I see, it's not actually missing pieces. One of the wrenches is broken. So, I mean, this is still very sellable. It's definitely dusty. They probably used it for a little while. My guess is they probably bought it, used it for a little while, and that broke, so they returned it. Um, but it's missing one wrench. This will sell very well. That was a rhyme. Don't even have the time. Anyways, what was the original price on this? 58 bucks. So it's not incredibly expensive, but I mean, tools do really well. I honestly think I'll have no problem getting 40 bucks for this. Now, I'm, I'm not a tool guy. I'm, I'm the light, like furthest from handy. Um, so when I say I think I can get 40 bucks, I am basing that off the fact that it says original retail was 58. Maybe it's on sale for 39. In that case, then I'll probably be able to get about 30. It, it really comes down to what retail is. All right, let's get this stuff out. Well, let's look at this first. All right, so obviously, well, this isn't obvious. This could have happened in shipping too. Oh, wonderful, it's locked. I think there's no latches. Ugh. All right, let's shake it and see if there are keys in it. There's something in it. So maybe we can, if it is a key, maybe we can shake it out through this hole. So I'm not having good luck with latches. Uh, that was what was in it, just the corner of it. It wasn't locked. Um, you would turn that, but you also, I only have one hand, so this is difficult. You see how it's spring loaded, you turn it, and then, here, let me lift it with the camera, and then you lift it, so it doesn't stay open. See that? But it does have the keys, so although there is a hole in it, this will still sell. Uh, it's, I mean, this is plastic. It wasn't the most secure thing in the world. You could probably pop these hinges out if you really wanted to get in. Uh, you know, otherwise a sledgehammer would get you in. However, you know, something to, uh, keep your, you know, put your liquor in to keep your kids out of it or put something in to keep your roommate from getting in. It, it'll do the job for that. It'll keep people out in that regard. 
It's not gonna keep a burglar out, but it'll keep your uh, snooping family members out. And that's really the only purpose this is meant to, to serve. So it will definitely sell despite that hole. The only downside with the hole, this looks rugged. I'm assuming it was waterproof and made where you could put it outside. Well, not anymore, but someone will still buy it. This is that string trimmer. It says it was returned because it was missing the string. Translation, the customer has the same string trimmer, doesn't want to buy the string. So he bought a new one and then just returned it without the string. All right, now this big air compressor. We're gonna get this up there and test it out. Oh, not a good thing to have on a pallet. It will just fall right in. One thing I noticed is this is uh, loose at the seam. Not that that's a problem. Ugh. Okay, I need two hands for this. I'm gonna hurt myself. So I'm testing this first. It's definitely unused. It does have the string. I'm not gonna mess with trying to figure that out though. Maybe it's missing a piece for it. it looks to be Perfect, so I'm gonna plug it in, it's electric. So I'm just gonna plug it in and uh, see if it runs. Works perfectly fine. It's actually a nice one, it's got an extendable handle. Sure seems like it works to me. I don't know what else would not work on it. So I'm comfortable selling it. Uh, let's look at the connection here. So I do kind of make assumptions about a lot of the stuff and the customers who buy it. Um, this one's a pretty safe assumption. This customer is a thief. Uh, in this Briggs & Stratton box, there is an old used off-brand air tank. This is uh, most certainly not the one that they bought. Total return fraud. So most likely doesn't work since, you know, why would they steal one and give this one back? That just annoys me. All right, moving on. And the Walmart employee, Miss Bonnie Powell, uh, let it slide. She didn't, I mean, she probably just opened it. So, oh, tank is in there and just let it go. But uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying because this probably would have been a decent sale. Oh, well, at least the big one works. So I'm trying to clean up this socket set, and there's one thing I noticed. Lifetime warranty. I wonder if it's like Craftsman where I can just bring this in and get another one. I uh, might look into that. I did see another missing piece. One of the bits here is missing, uh, but that's not a big deal. So I'm cleaning out these pallets here. Uh, most of this is just junk. Uh, was gonna do this, put this stuff in a dollar sale, but it's all used stuff. Uh, found a bird. We had a bird fly in here a couple months ago and then didn't see him. My guess is he died there and then fell. Freaked me out. We also have a genocide of flies up here. So I'm gonna bring a vacuum up here and take care of this. They must, uh, I don't know, hit the window or something. Was not thrilled to find that. We're five pallets of Amazon overstock and return. It's a mix. Um, we're gonna go through them today. Or at least we're gonna go through some of it today. Let me show you what they look like. I paid 500 or 550 each, something like that. Here's one, these are tall pallets. These Gaylords are about six feet tall. So here's what one looks like. You can see some returns, some overstock, a uh, bit, of bit of everything. We've got, here we got another one over here. So just kind of a, a mix. Ooh, what's this, what's this? Uh, LED headlight conversion kit. That could be good for eBay. Moving on, we've got a couple over here. Right there, looks like some bedding and stuff. We've got one here. That might be like dog food or something, right there. And lastly, we've got one here. So we're gonna start digging through them. I see a video game thing in here. This is the one I wanna go through first because I just saw that. So we're gonna have to cut these open because I'm not going, it, it's a shame because they're good, good Gaylords, but I'm, there's no way I'm gonna be able to reach anything in here. So let's start digging. So first we've got 
some sort of cover for a couch, sofa shield. Uh, looks like it's got these to go on the edges or something. And some bath mats. These are like memory foam bath mats. I'm assuming there's two of them in here. Or maybe just one large one. I don't know. This one is a return, but I mean, it looks to be new. This, eh, it might have been refolded back in there. It's tough to tell. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, what is this? This is another sofa cover for your pets so they don't uh, get their hair all over it, which that does look like factory folds. That's probably new. Uh, we've got some sort of bag here, a tote bag, Meyer. It, oh, this is insulated. So this is just a really large lunch bag or like a soft cooler of some sort. It does not look like there's any tags on it, which isn't uncommon for online stuff, but it's definitely new. Oh, uh, what else do we have here? Another sofa protector. This one is an LPN. That's a return label. But I mean, this looks pretty new if you ask me. Uh, looks like they probably just... Kohl's. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? Kohl's does returns for Amazon. That's probably what that's... What, why that's there. All right. We've got an electronic blood pressure monitor. Um, don't know what that's worth. Let's set that here. What is this? Uh, an air bed, twin size air mattress. Um, these are usually really tough to get back in the box, so I'd probably say that's new. Let me dig in here a little more. This, that looks like wood. So I'm gonna get some sort of backdrop for like maybe photography. Here we've got vacuum bags for, does it say 10 bags? Uh, Coach Vac, Mega Vac, whatever that is. That was, those will probably get sold on eBay. Here we've got an egg incubator. It does look like it was resealed. I don't even know what an egg incubator is, but um, probably worth some decent money on eBay. Uh, this is a uh, table lamp. It looks like it could be factory tape, so this might be uh, brand new. Uh, stuff is falling. That just fell on the floor. All right. This is what uh, got my attention. Obviously, this isn't worth a whole, bu a whole bunch. It's just a charging station for Xbox One controllers. But that means there might be video game stuff in here, which excites me. This is, I don't know what this is. Uh, let's see. iPhone, uh, it's just an iPhone screen protector. Nothing exciting. Usually those are damaged. Oh, we've got an iPod or an iPhone or some, wow, I can't talk. We've got a tablet case. Some squirt guns. Uh, let's see. I can't really get into here all that well. I haven't cut into the side. Here, I'm gonna guess a bathroom scale. No, oh, it's a giant shower head. Look at me peek my head through here. Uh, giant, this is like a, probably 13 by 13 inch maybe. So that might actually get installed in my house because I need a shower head. Uh, dip powder, whatever that is. Uh, what is this? Is this a hair dryer? Folding, professional folding hair dryer. Nice for travel. We got an air mattress here. This looks like another air mattress. Uh, nose canceling earmuffs. Nose, noise canceling earmuffs. I mean, I suppose you could cancel your nose. This feels empty. Uh, this video is gonna be terrible because I'm trying to reach in here so I can't see what I'm doing. We got some pee pee pads. Uh, dog dishes with a silicone base. An empty box. What is this? This does not say. Is it open? It is open. So, a uh, little cooling fan for something. 
These are canvas boxes. Ah, what is this? Uh, another gaming, looks like a cooling fan with controller mounts. Uh, we've got a bear, Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know what this is supposed to be. We get some dolls, uh, probably just off-brand, nothing special, but they'll sell. I'm just kind of digging at this point. Ooh, we get candy. This might be some sort of makeup. Uh, it, I thought it felt like it was leaking, it felt sticky, that's just rubber. I don't know what this is. Mascara, get a bag full of candy here. All right, what else is? hiding in here. This feels empty. Um, the cord might have just fallen out though, so an off-brand cord for a Game Boy Advance SP. This is diffuser maybe? For like essential oils? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to dig here. That says TV mount. This is really hard on the armpits. Alright, let's You know, I'm gonna see if I can find a knife. All right, this makes it a little bit easier. So we saw these, we saw these, oh, we saw both of those things also. What is this? A motion sensor ceiling light. We've got uh, insoles, two sets of insoles. By the way, I'm gonna pick all this stuff up and sort it. Uh, let's see, night eye cream, anti-aging cream of some sort. Now this could be expired. I don't see a date on it anywhere. So I'm looking at here. Uh, so maybe it's not expired. I don't know, we'll have to do a little more research on it. We already looked at that. We already looked at that. The squirt gun, at least I think that's what this is, water gun. What is this? Some sort of hose line for something, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. All right, this, did we look at this? Yeah, this is the shower head. Another squirt gun, this one has no packaging. Here, we've got an air mattress. Set that on the floor here. Uh, smartwatch band. Some sort of cloth thing. I'm not sure. This is Xbox wireless Xbox 360 controller. So probably an off-brand Xbox 360 controller. So I like that I'm finding gaming stuff. Yeah, off-brand Xbox 360 controller. This is probably good for five, ten bucks locally in an auction. This feels empty. A tiara. A very fancy box for that. This looks like some sort of case. We already saw the dolls. Oh, that helps. Can anyone read Chinese? Alright, let's... Something's moving in there. Everyone says I should get a camera that mounts to my head. But the problem is, first aid box... This is interesting. It's, uh, I don't know if people use it as a first aid box, but it's a lock box. It's got a key. Uh, it could also be a good makeup box or something. I think this will do well. So everyone says I should get a head mount. The thing is, uh, be prepared. You're about to get dizzy. I'm holding my phone in my head. Now let me look around here. Okay, we're grabbing this. Now, is that not something that's going to make you dizzy? I feel like it would make you dizzy. That's why I don't do that. We got another couch thing. I can at least hold it somewhat steady uh, when I'm holding it. I think this is for some sort of pipe, like a, a hookah or something. Uh, this is a standing mirror. Those unfold to have a mirror. We've got uh, some sort of health vitamins. Expires one of, uh, you can't see that, one of 20. So that's good for a couple more months. 
Don't want to lose that. That goes in there. This is, I don't know, cover FX gold bar high. Hmm. I think this is, here, let me open this. I'm going to do this off camera. All right, now let's pull it out. Cover FX gold bar highlight. Oh, this is cosmetics. This is makeup. Uh, it looks like it's sealed. I th oh, no, these, that's how it opens. So let's get it out of here. It's a fancy looking packaging. I don't want everything to just fall and crash on the floor. So the box is open. This looks pretty unused though. So I think this will sell. It is an open box, which is, there it is. But it looks unused to me. I'm gonna need two hands to pack that back up. So let's uh, just set it right there for now. This is jeans, my fit jeans. So I don't know if those are gonna be worth much, but at the very least, they're jeans. We have what used to be a book. Interesting. Used acceptable. Well, it is definitely used acceptable. This is just gonna go right in the trash. Apparently that's the trash for now. Uh, what else? Solar flower light. Um, a hair straightener. A phone case. A steamer. Looks like a travel steamer. That we already saw. This. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Playmobil. Uh, this is factory sealed. It's just a damaged box. Uh, so this is something that maybe I could sell used on... I might even consider selling used on Amazon. Could probably sell it on eBay. There is the number. It's 9246. It's from How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, that should be a decent seller, especially with Christmas around the corner here. What else do we have down here? All these PP pads in the way, covering up the merchandise. All right, what are these? I don't know. I don't speak. Oh, something to do with contact lenses, maybe? Oh, let's see. Tablecloth. That's some sort of tablet case. Oh, here's the charger for the uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Also works with the original DS. Okay. This is, I don't know, your power. Uh, do not install lights too close. So probably some sort of uh, maybe under cabinet lighting. Another portable steamer. Another couch cover. Uh, this is that TV mount. This is in a garbage bag for some reason, a pet bed. Probably another one that was returned to Kohl's. A piece of wood. Uh, maybe a little humidifier or something. It's made to look bamboo. We got a movie, The Undying Monster, that um, looks perfectly fine to me. Don't know if this is gonna be worth anything, but uh, you never know. So this is quite a mix of stuff in here. What is this? Left ear. Oh, this goes around your ear. So you have a little dragon around your ear. Uh, we've got some sort of charging base. We got a book. Uh, toilet paper holder. It looks to be some decent stuff in here, digging through. We've got uh, vacuum pump preserver. I've sold those before. A uh, travel umbrella, a vase, a uh, travel charger of some sort. Uh, this is a TV antenna, one of those thin ones. Looks like we've got another one here. No, that's a screen protector. What are these? Fly ribbons. Looks like this box probably busted open. 
Uh, some sort of baby swaddle cloth. So it looks like there's gonna be some decent stuff in here. Now I have a meeting I have to get to, so I'm about to head out, but I'm gonna clean this top layer up when I come back and then show you what's below it. All right, I'm back digging through here. I've got some boxes up to organize them a little bit. Look at this. These should sell well. It's interesting how it's other languages on here. I don't know if these are imports or what, but uh, it's soap. It'll go to good use. Someone will buy it. I don't know, maybe I'll get 50 cents a piece for them. It looks like there were, I didn't count, maybe 10. So we got a mysterious box here. There's no markings anywhere on it, just a return label. What in the world is this? Oh, oh! This is a whole case of these wine bottle. Oh, I'm gonna send these to a consignment shop. These are uh, wine bottle, I guess, lids, tops, whatever. You can see there's a little bit of rubber in there. I bet I could get, I don't know, two, three bucks a piece. We get five, 10, 15, 20, 24 of them. So probably looking at uh, 60, 70, 80 bucks, something like that. I'm not gonna sit here and do math. So I just figured this out. I said this looked like it went to a hookah or something. I didn't know what this was. This is the other part of the hookah. And then this big vase here is the bottom. So I think that's going to be all of it. This would sit in here and the hose would come off of it. I'll keep an eye out for more parts. This looks like some sort of heating element. I don't see any markings on it. Maybe I can look some of this stuff up. Um, the only thing on the box is this. If I can peel up those stickers, I might be able to get a UPC. This is something that would probably be good for eBay. So this says stay at home snacks. I opened it and we've got some candy bars. They are expired. So I'll probably, I don't, I mentioned in another video, I don't like selling expired things. My customers don't like it. Legally, yes, I'm fine. Expiration dates don't really mean much. It just is more of a quality thing rather than a health thing. So I might take these home and eat them. Uh, my girlfriend, she it looks like protein, protein bars. She eats those. So maybe I'll give them to her if she if I don't like them. Um, find a use for them. They won't go to waste, but I won't sell them. So I'm going through this pallet, digging through it. Here's some decent odds and ends. It actually looks like a receipt printer down there. Uh, I found this box. I haven't gone through it yet. It looks like a bunch of smalls. But I open up this box. Look. This is full of brand new games. So these are all sealed. You can get an idea of the games. Uh, I looked them all up. I should get, uh, most of them are 10, 12, 15 bucks after fees. Uh, there are a couple in the $6 range. I want to say this one was six, this one maybe, and maybe that, maybe, maybe I don't remember. This one, the Tomb Raider game was 12 something after fees. That was 11 something, this was 15. There was one of them, might have actually been this one. One of them was like 23 after fees, something like that. Uh, so I should walk away with about 250 to 300 bucks here. Remember, I only paid 100 bucks for the entire pallet. Beyond that, nothing too special on this pallet. These two birds, they're metal. Uh, they're cranes, and the original retail was 227 bucks on them. I don't think I'll get anywhere near that, though. We got a beach umbrella, a light. Uh, that alarm clock, it says it doesn't work. I'm gonna test that out. We've got this clock. Uh, it took me a little bit to find, but there's part of the frame, a little chip in it on the bottom. Now, let me get down there. Right here, so that's gonna be a tough sell. Uh, oh, we've also got this hose. So I'm sorry, it looks well used though. So, oh, I'm losing stuff. So I don't know if this is gonna go for much. And there's some other stuff. This is missing a wheel. Um, this, the glass is broken inside. Uh, this was in there. I just said, I'm kind of just setting stuff aside here. So let's see. Oh, hey, hold on. Uh, reaching. Uh, here's the missing wheel for this thing. That'll pop back on. I, I might need two hands for this. Oh, it doesn't look like it. How's the other one attached? These little plastic screws. So, are there any of those in here? I don't see any, but you never know. 
All right, what else do we have? We've got a curtain rod here. We've got a boat oar, some blinds, uh, some sort of glove. That intrigues, intrigues me. I want to pull that out. All right, so I pulled these out. It says missing batteries and half paper cords. Uh, it does have receipts here, so that tells me it probably did work or does work. And it looks like it's got the cords. We've got a power cord and a USB cable. Uh, as far as paper, it's probably in it. And it must have had batteries if they had it plugged in. Yeah, let's start with that. And they make this difficult. There we go. Oh, I see. It's uh, a proprietary battery. Does this come with one? Uh, let's see. It's possible that it's just sold separately. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about a battery. Let's pull out the manual. So it does say it's supposed to include a battery, although it doesn't say anything about paper. Um, so my guess is the buyer just stole the battery. Um, on eBay, I looked it up. It was selling for about third, 25 to 30 used. Some of them were a little higher. Uh, that's used. This one I'd probably sell as uh, like new or new other, as they call it, a new item that's open box. Thing is, with the missing battery, that may drop the price significantly. So we'll play that by ear. These as well, I should be able to get about 25 to 30 bucks. They are in date until 2021. I don't know why I thought 23. Oh, I saw that there. Uh, three of 2021. I do want to open these, and I don't think I'll be able to do this with one hand, but just make sure that there's still a safety seal on it. Never mind. Interesting. They stole the entire bottle here. And then I don't know if any are missing here, but I'm not going to sell them if they've been open. So, uh, interesting. Sometimes the people will open it just because they're terrible people and want to see you know, how big the pills are or something like that. Uh, but this bottle's empty, so that tells me they just stole the whole bottle. It's an interesting way to steal it by just taking the pills out. So these are just going to get thrown in the way. Thrown away. Uh, what else was there? This. Is the glove in here? It looks like it's in there. Um, I could probably get two, three bucks for this. One sleeve, you can see it in there. And that is it. I did find two of the screws for the wheel for this thing here. So it's good enough to sell. Not gonna get much for it. The games were the huge home run on this load, on this pallet. Oh, wait, that is not it. I haven't gone through this box yet. I set it aside because it looked like a bunch of smalls. So we've got moth traps. Let's set that aside. So we've got a Clorox toilet bowl cleaner that is probably just going to get thrown away. We got some styrofoam plates, a water bottle with no lid, roll of paper towel, a knife uh, with no packaging. Now let me shift over to a box so I can toss this stuff in it. So this entire box is stuff with no packaging. I'm not gonna use this for uh, in the kitchen, but if I take the outer rolls off, I can use it for cleaning, so that's not gonna go to waste. Some of this stuff could probably be sold. I could probably get a buck for that. And, uh, this is a Glade candle without the packaging. Probably get a buck for that. Uh, the knife would probably sell. Maybe the dog collar. Oh no, that's broken. So uh, this pallet was not a good pallet except for the games. The games really did it. I paid a hundred bucks for this pallet. I would probably say I'll get, I don't think I'll get a ton for the birds. I'm looking up here. I think maybe I could get 50 bucks for the birds, maybe another 50 for everything else, so break even. And then the games, another 250 to 300 ish. Uh, the printer right there. I don't know what I'll get. I mean, without a battery, it could easily be a $10 or $15 item. I'm not sure. And that's basically it off of this one. Well, that's another pallet down. 
By the way, I got this pallet yesterday. This is not part of the, what was it, 38 skids that I bought. This came yesterday. I spent 1250 on this pallet. Show you this one quick. And I'll probably show it on a daily video too. So this, this one box is 36 of these two packs of disposable razors. I got a total of, I think, 33 or 3,400 of these. 33 or 3,400 two packs. Uh, half men's, half women's. It cost me 1,250 shipped. Um, they're just disposable razors. I don't think they're gonna sell for much, if anything, on eBay. Maybe I could sell this whole box for something on eBay. There are three 12s, two counts. So there are 36 total packs in this box here. So, I mean, if I can sell this box on eBay and get 36 bucks, there's some money right there. Otherwise, um, my main plan for these is our next warehouse sale. But uh, consumables like this do tend to do really well. This would be great for like a retail setting. Uh, 33, 3,400 pieces. You could have these on the shelves for a year, potentially. And at two bucks a pack, I don't know what these go for. I'd assume you could probably get two bucks for this in a store setting. I'm probably gonna move them for a buck in the warehouse sale, but if you get two each, that's what, $7,600? Between 70, no, 66 to $6,800 for a 1200 purchase. That would be great if I can get that. But I won't, I don't have a store. Uh, I'll probably get, get a buck each, so 33, 3400 bucks. Still triple my money. Now let's tackle this pallet. I see on top a water cooler. I already took that out. So we've got a water cooler, a suitcase with a stain on it, a couple of fans. I already sold two of these fans for like 25 bucks each, and then another one for 20. Some sort of pump, uh, something Nerf related, another suitcase. Here's a hard suitcase, more Nerf, a couple more fans. So let's dig in. So I pulled this box out. I have no idea what it is. I did cut the top flap so I can get into it. Let's uh, see what's in here. Oh, cap chair. But it's probably in good shape. You get a few bucks for that. Uh, what else? Oh, I forgot to mention there's a hand truck in here and a water cooler. I don't know if I mentioned either of those. This looks like a pretty nice suitcase. Actually looks like a really nice suitcase. And there it goes. It's leaving me just like everyone else. All right. Uh, Royal Oak Barbecue. What is this? Charcoal Briquettes. Here we've got a big Nerf gun. That should go well. We've got, uh, let's see, what should I get out next? It's, I might need two hands for this. I'm going to get this out. Uh, we got the suitcase. Uh, dig in here. This looks like another pool. Vintage mat. What's oh, a clock? It's a damage clock. Now yeah, these pallets have a lot of damage stuff. Remember, I only paid a hundred bucks each. So it looks like it might be another suitcase. Another Nerf gun. Here's another Nerf gun. So it looks like we're probably gonna have three Nerf guns in here. We've got a water cooler. Um, this looks like one that's probably actually connected right in with the water lines, maybe. Because you don't have the spot to put the, uh, the big jug. Uh, I don't see anything else in there. So I'm looking at this. There aren't any water connections, but it almost looks like you put that giant water, the five gallon jug, in there, maybe. Uh, we'll see if it works. Um, uh, we've got another airsoft gun. A suitcase. This is a sump pump right there. Oh, you can't see it. Now this, oh, we've got another suitcase there. We've got some sort of bedding there. This suitcase has some weight to it. So let's open it. It feels like there's something in here. That is just what expands it. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a set. So it looks like a three piece set, maybe. Yep, three piece set. 
So that should do well. Original price, wow, only 81 bucks. Although that's zero zero, so it's probably a clearance price. It does say damaged. It could just be this to some degree. Uh, we'll check out all the zippers, make sure they work. It's got all four wheels. They all spin, so we'll look into that a little bit more. Uh, so that is basically this pallet. Oh, this looks like two bags, two collapsible duffel bags. Um, what is this? Uh, bed skirt, and that appears to be it. And then five more of these fans. The fans should easily pay for the pallet. Uh, so far, every single one of them has worked. And then we've got this thing here too. Uh, which is one of those convertible dollies. You pull this out and you can make it a cart with four wheels on the floor. Uh, I'd, I'd assume, I'm not sure what this is, the intent on this is. I would assume I could probably get, I don't know, 40 bucks for this maybe. They're probably about 60 or 80 in the store. So not an amazing palette, not as exciting as the video games in the last one, but should still do all right. And it's bigger stuff, so it's gonna be pretty easy to sell.